Hey guys, it's Kendra. Today I'm here to do a baby boy haul. I'm so excited. I got the cutest little things. If you guys are new to my channel, I am pregnant. I'm 19 weeks pregnant with a little boy. And I also have twin girls that are two. So I only have experience buying girl things. So it's been kind of different navigating baby boy clothes and accessories and nursery things and whatnot. So I'll kind of share throughout this video like things that I found that I think are cuter at certain stores than girls, um, but it's definitely different. I feel like shopping for girls is a lot easier. Shopping for boys, you have to be like pickier. I also am doing this video in collaboration with Sam Sherman here on YouTube. If you guys aren't subscribed to her yet, I will link her channel down below in the info section. Her sister is actually pregnant with a little boy and she has been collecting things for her and has been texting me little pictures of things that she's found. She's like the best. She finds the most hidden gems at places, I swear. Like her TJ Maxx hauls are my favorite. Her TJ Maxx hauls and her empties are definitely my favorite. But I've been following Sam for so many years, like when I first started YouTube and we've met at a few YouTube events and whatnot. She's just the sweetest person ever. She also has two kids of her own. They're a little bit older though. They're not babies, but she has a lot of experience in buying kid items. I'm excited to watch her video after this and just see what she got. In this video, I'm going to be sharing clothes, stuffed animals that I got for his nursery, a couple like swaddle type of things, teething things, and then two little decor items for the nursery too. So I got a lot of stuff actually, but I feel like I don't need that much stuff. I don't know. I feel like with the girls, I was so stressed out. I felt like I needed so many things. And this time around, I feel like I don't, one, I don't want that many things. And two, I don't, you don't need as many things as you think. I don't know. I kind of want to do a whole video on maybe registry items, like what you really need, what you don't really need, what you shouldn't spend a ton of money on, that type of thing. I am registering for a few things for him, but not a ton. So I might just do like a baby sprinkle, not a shower, just because we already have stuff and I'm really picky this time around. I only want to get stuff that I really love, that I really will use. I don't like to I don't like to get clutter in our house, especially because our house isn't huge and I need to like just be very specific and picky with the things that I bring into it. So with that said, let's get into the stuff. I hope you guys enjoy what I got and I think I'm gonna start with clothes. Actually, I take that back. I'm gonna start with the two things, like the bigger items that I got for his nursery. So the brand is Lorena Canal. How adorable is this basket? Like, are you kidding me? So I have one of their rugs in the playroom right now, but I wanted something a little bit different. The one in there right now is cream and black. The one I got for him is all cream. I'll show you it. When I was on their website looking for the rug, I came across these baskets and they have a bunch of different colors. They had a navy blue, they had a burgundy cream, I believe like a light pink, but this baby blue just spoke to me. I thought it was so cute. And I don't really have that much blue things picked out for his nursery. It's kind of more neutrals. And then I like to do pops of color here and there. So like these tassels are just adorable and I'm kind of going with like a zoo themed, not over the top, just little, you know, hints of giraffes and elephants here and there. Okay, Kyla was just barking at the mailman. So, whew, out of breath. <laughs> um, the other reason why I like this is the shape because it's low but wide. A lot of the baskets that I had for the girls' toys they were like taller and more narrow. And when they're at the age when they're trying to like pull up on things, it was just kind of hard for them to grab anything. So I feel like this is just more accessible and I can put anything in here. I can put toys, I can put stuffed animals, blankets. So I just thought this was so cute. And then the other kind of like big item that I've picked up is this rug for the room. It's gigantic, it's so hard to see. But what I like about this, I hope you guys can kind of see it. Let me turn it around, is the texture in it. So it has like all these cool little stripes, but they're all just super pretty. I love, again, going with, <laughs> so out of breath, these kind of creamy colors and then playing up with textures and fabrics and a little bit of accent colors throughout it, but kind of keeping like the main bigger items, 
more neutral. So I'll show that more once we're like working on the nursery, but I just kind of wanted to give you guys a little preview. Okay, so let's start with some clothes because I feel like that's what everybody likes to see the most, at least I always do. I found some really cute things in Nordstrom Rack, but it's hard shopping right now because he's gonna be born at the end of June and it's gonna be really hot. And right now it's all like winter stuff, winter stuff going on sale. So I'm waiting for the spring and summer stuff to come out soon, but I did find some stuff. These were like the best score. So the company is Angel Deer and the girls have these little muslin watermelon dresses by this company and they're so adorable. So when I saw that this company was on there, I was like, okay, yes, I have to get these. Look at the little pockets on the back. Are you kidding? So they have little whales and sailboats and I got this in a size zero to three months and the fabric of these clothes are so soft and they button at the bottom too. So it's like a little romper. And I don't think I'm gonna get many newborn things because my girls were so big. Okay, so I have twins and they were born at 36 weeks. They were a month early and they were still seven pounds, eight ounces and six pounds. So I'm thinking that this boy is gonna be decently sized. So for that reason, I don't really want to waste a ton of money on newborn stuff. So I'm kind of thinking zero to three months should be okay. If he's kind of swimming in some things, I'm okay with that. I got three of these in different styles, but just different prints. This one has these little octopus. Look how sweet. And this one is so soft. But I thought these are just precious for the summer. I love them so much. And they were under $10. So I got some really good deals. Another thing about having one baby versus two babies is everything is so cheap. With the girls, everything is double and stuff adds up so quickly in your cart. But this time around, I'm like, hey, this is pretty, pretty nice. So here's this little last print, which is there's whales and is it just whales? Sharks, dolphins. And the other thing I got from Nordstrom Rack was this little onesie. It's by Tommy Hilfiger. And <laughs> I thought it was pretty cute. It's three months. So three months means zero to three months. And this was originally $27. Like, come on, who would pay $27 on this? I just don't understand that. But again, I got it for under $10. And this one is not as soft as these ones, so definitely not as cozy, but I thought it was kind of fun and preppy. Moving on to some things that I got from H&M. H&M has some really good baby stuff, newborn things. They have organic cotton, which I really like. So these I had been eyeing and they went on sale. They're these kind of kimono style onesies, so they snap all the way to the side and on the bottom, and they're the conscious line. I got size one to two months, which is, I think that's newborn. So I figured I'd be okay with just a few little newborn things. I'll maybe bring these to the hospital, which sounds so weird and crazy to do again. So it comes with three of them, and it's a really good deal. So they have a lot of different like bundles, of their onesies. We got navy, we got like a sky blue, and this really pretty like dusty blue. I love this color. So aren't those just so sweet? I thought those would be really good for sleeping. And then this I got on a crazy sale. I think it was like $3 or something. This is size two to four months, but again, I know I'm saying adorable so many times, but I thought this was just so precious with some little shorts. These came in a set as well, these little shorts. So H&M definitely has a lot of bundles and they're very affordable because if you kind of divide out the cost per item it's really good so these are two to four months yes i feel like their pants run kind of big like whenever i get sweatsuits for the girls or something like that they wear their the tops first and the pants don't fit them for a little bit because these look pretty big to me so i kind of think these might be like a little bit more four months and up. I don't know. We'll see. Again, it just depends on how big your kid is. But I like these. You can just throw these over a onesie or just with a little top. Just great for like warm weather. They're very soft, easy. I'm all about cozy and easy stuff. Like when the girls were little, that is definitely my priority. The last few items of clothes I got from Baby Gap. I love their stuff. They're so cute. They also have a lot of organic options too. Definitely don't buy their stuff full price though. They have so many sales with, since I've been buying doubles everything for the girls, I'm really good at, at knowing when to buy stuff when their sales are happening. So what I like to do is add stuff to my cart and then I'll check every now and then to see what sales are going on. And I don't buy anything from Gap unless it's over 40% off. Usually I wait till it's 40 or 50. 
I rarely shop when it's 30% off, which is still a good deal, but still they have a lot of huge sales, so you might as well wait. So that's what I did with these. Got them at, I think they were maybe on sale from like their winter stuff. I think these two came in a set, these little pants. So I got these in a size zero to three months and they're like their little baby line. I thought this would be good just over like a white onesie. And then these ones are their organically grown cotton. They're definitely softer and they just have a slightly different fit. But these are the same, yeah, zero to three months. Just really cute, soft, throw it over onesie. And then I got this little onesie, which I thought was super sweet. I don't want too many long sleeve ones though because it gets, it's gonna be hot. So I just got this little gray thermal. It has a little bear there and I got that in a zero to three months. So it says seven to 12 pounds. So I think, I think zero to three months is definitely gonna be good. If Violet was seven, eight, she was sharing the womb, I'm thinking that this baby is gonna be larger. Next up, I have some stuff from Lulu Lollipop. They have the best prints. If you guys are looking for really cute swaddles, they have so many options. With the girls, I had so many, so many cute floral ones. That's what I miss, I love all the floral prints for girls. But they had a few cute ones for boys. So this first one, this is, yeah, this is a swaddle. This is in the safari jungle print. So you get little zebras and rhinos and they're just very soft. And I use swaddles for so many things. We did use them to swaddle the girls in the beginning. Then they could break out of them. So what I do with these is I typically keep one in the diaper bag in case there's spills, in case we need to lay them down on something if I'm changing them somewhere. Um, just like for so many reasons as a blanket. So they're just really good to have on hand. The other print that I love so much is this like camel brown color. I almost got this pretty much identical print for his wallpaper, but I'm doing something different now. But I do love this so much. That brown is my favorite ever. And then I got one of the crib sheets in the same print that Safari Jungle. So I'm not gonna open this yet, but I thought that was fun. I'm, you know, since I'm doing kind of like a zoo-ish theme, I thought that was sweet and then I got a few teethers and pacifier clips from them as well so I just got one of the pacifier clips because I kept one from the girls that is a cream color I don't know where it is but I know I kept it I kept that one and a purple one so I have to find the cream one somewhere but this one I got is in the color sage and look how pretty that is I love the kind of muted green shade so it has the clip and then it's silicone beads and then some wooden beads and we use these all the time with the girls so I highly recommend those are amazing and then I got these two little teethers this one has these little wooden rings and then these silicone balls and this is in the color beige I thought that would be good to keep in my diaper bag for him or just put in his car seat something for him to hold on to I like how they're just very simple and classic looking. They're also non-toxic, eco-friendly, BPA-free, amazing. And then I also got this teether, non-toxic, eco-friendly, and this is a little dinosaur one. It's called the Dino Teether in Aqua. So it has that on the end, and then you can clip that to their shirt, and they can just hold on to it. I like the little orange too, so that's fun. Okay, and then last up, I got a few stuffed animals. So Mary Myers, is it, I never know if it's Meyer or Myers, Mary Meyer. It's my favorite brand for stuffed animals. They are so soft, so they have a bunch of different lines. The putty line is my favorite. The putty range of animals is so soft. The girls, a lot of people ask what their stuffed animals are, that they're always holding the bears. This is what it is. So it's the Mary Meyer, but the putty line of animals. So I saw this really cute giraffe and it's, guys, it's just so soft. How fun is that? So I'll put that somewhere for him. June always takes this and holds it all around. I'm like, that's for her baby brother. So she kind of knows that it's for him. But I got that one. I thought that was really sweet. I also like the gray. And then I ordered him um, the same bear that June has. It's the 17 inch bear, but I got the wrong size. I got the 20 inch. So I'm getting the other, the correct size and it's in the cream color. I'll link that one down below too. It's so, so cute. And then June has the gray color, which is this one. And then Violet has the blush color, but the small one, it's like, they have like very specific things that they like. So I got the little elephant one in the smaller size for him. 
So I'm hoping he'll like this one because isn't that so sweet? I love little elephants. And I also saw this one online, which is, I'm trying to think what range this is from. It just says Mary Meyer Baby. So it's like the soft putty um, fabric, but then it has like little beads down here. So I thought this would just be another cute option for him. I like to just have a few little stuffed animals, see what they like. It's funny because with the girls, I have so many stuffed animals and they didn't really like a ton of them. There were some that I really wanted them to like and they just didn't. They only gravitated towards these. So that's all I'll buy from now on for some animals for them. So that's everything that I've picked up up until this point. I feel like, again, I have a lot of stuff, it seems like. I know it's not a ton, but um, I don't really have any place for it yet. I have to work on his closet. We have to clean that out, all the stuff that's in there, and completely like redo it. So that is next on my list. So I hope you guys all enjoyed this haul. Thank you so much for watching. If you're new to my channel, Make sure to subscribe. I upload every single week, a few videos a week. And don't forget to check out Sam's channel as well. I'll put her info down below. Thank you guys so much for spending some time with me. I'll talk to you very soon. Bye.